Hi there, my name is Dr. Dominic Rowley and I'm the medical director of letsgetcheck.com. Today we're going to talk to you about HIV. HIV is caused by a virus called HIV. This stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. This virus is a virus that attacks your immune system, namely your T cells. Your T cells are the infection fighting cells in your body and these give us our ability to fight off common bacteria and viruses and fungal infections. So when you have HIV, your body's ability to fight infection is impaired or compromised. HIV is contracted in a number of different ways. The most commonly known about way, I suppose, is through uh, unprotected sex, so through um, bodily fluids, namely semen um, and vaginal secretions. It's also transmitted through blood, so from infected blood products or the sharing of infected needles or dirty needles as is also known. So what are the signs and symptoms of HIV infection? Well, no two people are the same, but the vast majority of people will develop what we call a seroconversion illness or a classic flu-like illness about two to six weeks after you come in contact with the virus. And this is when your, the HIV virus has infected your lymph glands and your immune system is fighting against the virus. So most people will present with a very severe flu, so temperature, muscle pains and aches, you know, they won't be able to get off the couch, they won't be able to go to work. Um, other people will present with a diarrheal illness or think they've got a gastroenteritis, so very severe diarrhea or maybe vomiting. Other people will present with swollen lymph glands in their neck or under their armpit or in their groin, or other people will present with a rash. Because this looks like many other viral infections, uh, people often don't go to their doctor and get tested and instead they treat themselves with home remedies such as paracetamol and aspirin and get through this stage. So after the acute stage, so as I mentioned, uh, two to six weeks after coming in into contact with the virus, you'll develop this flu-like illness, possibly. If you don't go and get tested, the virus then becomes silent or dormant in the body. And this is when I suppose you are this can take two to 10 years before you will develop any signs of, of what, what is commonly known as, as AIDS, which is a, or an immune deficiency syndrome where your immune system is really compromised and you're at a very high risk of infection of, through bacteria or viruses or fungal infections. And this is the later stage of HIV infection. And as I mentioned, this can take up to two to 10 years to present itself after um, being infected. So patients often ask me, or people often ask me, so who's at risk of uh, HIV infection and who should get tested? Well, the first thing I would say is everybody should get tested. Uh, it's, we all should get tested when we're leaving a relationship or starting a new relationship, or if we think we've had a high risk encounter. Um, by that I mean, of course, an unprotected sexual encounter. Uh, however, there are certain groups that are at higher risk and, uh, of HIV infection. Those would include men of sex with men and people who share needles are intravenous drug users, or indeed people who would share needles for steroid use. And um, they would be classed as uh, slightly higher risk patients for uh, contracting HIV. If you're concerned about HIV or that you've come into contact with HIV or indeed you might be at risk of HIV infection, please visit letsgetchecked.com and speak with one of our nurses and they'll be really happy to advise you about which test will best suit your needs.